Hey there viewers, ever heard of ulcerative colitis? Let's break these words down to understand their meaning. An ulcer is a sore that grows on the lining of your stomach. The colon is your large intestine, as well as an integral part of your digestive system. This inflammatory bowel disease can cause abdominal cramping and loose stools. You can also lose your appetite. In today's video, we'll take a look at foods that can either help or worsen this condition. How safe is your morning coffee? What about oatmeal? We're discussing all of this and more. Applesauce Did you ever have applesauce as a child? It was good when you were sick. Our mothers fed us applesauce for all the right reasons. Every household has a secret recipe for one amazing applesauce. This is the only dish that keeps all the nutrients of an apple intact, even after cooking. Apples have antioxidants and flavonoids that can reduce chronic inflammatory diseases. However, you might want to go a little easier on it. The high fiber and fructose can cause flare-ups. Just remember to consume it in moderation. Have you ever had ulcerative colitis? Do you take supplements for meeting your nutritional needs? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Salmon The benefits of salmon are not just limited to your digestive tract. About 100 grams of this pink-fleshed fish contains 3 grams of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s are known anti-inflammatories. You know, the carotenoids that give the fish its pink color. This antioxidant is powerful enough to relieve inflammation. Squash This is a really good choice to fight your ulcer. You'd be surprised to know there are almost 20 different types of squashes. Butternut, winter, summer, zucchini, and other varieties are included in this category. You can chop them up, you can put them in smoothies, you can also have them as sides for your dishes. Give squash a try. Avocados Almost every system in your body can benefit from avocado. Your skin will start glowing. Your heart and liver will function at its highest level. The kidneys will become strong. It's a gold mine for vitamin E and C. Your body can enjoy a splurge of essential nutrients if you're on a restricted diet. But guess what? Guacamole is not the only way to enjoy avocados. It tastes great in salads, soups, eggs, and toast. If you're too tired to cook, just open one and season it with salt and pepper to enjoy its goodness. Feel like you're missing out on all of the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Fermented foods Do you like yogurt? What about kimchi or miso soup? These foods fall under the category of probiotics. If you're not getting enough, it's about time you incorporated more into your diet. If you have ulcerative colitis, your digestive system could use extra help from its gut bacteria to digest food. Probiotics are filled with good bacteria. Scientists have found that eating probiotics daily can reduce flare-ups. Instant Oatmeal You couldn't fix yourself a quicker, tastier, or more filling breakfast if you tried. Try and go for the plain version. No added flavors. These are easier for your bowel to digest. Refined Grains if you love bread, pasta, and cereal, you are in luck. Ulcerative colitis forces you to eat foods made from refined grains. Whole grains are much harder to digest and can put a strain on your intestine. Before you buy them, take a glance at the ingredients. Make sure they're adding extra vitamins and minerals to the brand. Eggs Eggs can be eaten on their own or as part of a delicious meal. There are so many recipes to choose from. Eggs give your body a ton of essential vitamins, along with omega-3s. These are easily digested. Just make sure you don't have any allergies. Fluids Ulcerative colitis almost always is accompanied by diarrhea. Your frequent bathroom trips can make your body dehydrated and fatigued. Make a point to sip on water every now and then. If you're sick of drinking water, there are other fluids you can have. These include lemon water, coconut water, green tea, clear soups, and soya milk. Not only will it replenish your lost fluid content, but also give your body the much-needed vitamins and electrolytes. Now that we've covered this, let's move on to foods that are bad for your ulcerative colitis. Before we move ahead, check out our video on what eating oatmeal every day does to your body. Caffeine We know how difficult it is to kickstart your day without coffee, but giving up caffeine can turn your world upside down. You'll have fewer flare-ups and reduced symptoms of ulcerative colitis. Caffeine is present not only in coffee, but also tea, energy drinks, chocolates, and medications. Dairy Products This one's tricky. Certain dairy products can cause flare-ups, while others cure symptoms. 
If you're already lactose intolerant, stay away from dairy. Switching to plant-based milk and other products may help. Alcohol. If you have this condition, you'll need to give up alcohol. It doesn't matter if you're a social drinker or a wild partier. Alcohol is known to trigger your diarrhea. Carbonated drinks. Soda and beer can irritate the intestine. These drinks are high in sugar, caffeine, and artificial sweeteners. There's nothing natural about them. Therefore, it's wise to stay away from them. High fiber foods. Foods that contain high fiber are beans, fruits, whole grains, peas, legumes, and raw vegetables. The fiber pushes through your digestive tract, giving you the urge to rush to the bathroom. But if you're already suffering from diarrhea, this could worsen that situation. These foods also have the potential to cause gas, bloating, and cramping in the stomach. Popcorn. A movie date without popcorn? What in the world? This is for your own good. The seeds in popcorn are hard to digest. Potatoes. Who doesn't love potato chips or fries? Potatoes contain compounds that will also hurt your gut. Baked and boiled potatoes are a decent alternative. Eat those instead. Sulfur foods. Have you ever gotten gassy and bloated after eating? This is probably because of the sulfur content. Sulfur and sulfites in food can make a person gassy. The worst foods in this category include beer, peanuts, raisins, processed meats, wine, almonds, cider, wheat pasta, multi-grain bread, and soy. Fatty meats. A big chunk of fatty steak can be so appetizing, but your gut might not like it, especially during a flare-up situation. The gut fails to absorb the fat, which makes the condition even worse. Nuts and seeds. Even the tiniest of seeds can cause flare-ups. And we're not even talking about cramping or bloating. It's best if these foods are avoided. Sugar. Fructose and alcohol sugars are both dangerous. If your food label reads something like high fructose corn syrup, molasses, fruit juice, or honey, it's bad. Vegetables. This is probably the first time you've ever heard do not eat vegetables. A few cruciferous vegetables cause gas, bloating, and abdominal cramps. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower fall under this category. Stringy vegetables like celery also should be avoided. If you really enjoy these vegetables, try consuming them cooked rather than raw. Spicy foods. Spicy foods with or without ulcerative colitis are a trigger for stomach upset. Things like buffalo wings, spicy peppers, and hot sauces should be avoided at all costs. Spices cause burning and lead to more diarrhea. Gluten. You have to be picky when it comes to choosing gluten-free products. Wheat, rye, and barley can be a trigger for many people. Are you still concerned about ulcers? Well, there are several foods you can try to prevent them from forming in the first place. Let's take a look at a couple more videos, shall we? Watch and learn about the 11 best foods to prevent ulcers. You can also try six common digestive disorders you need to know about. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to become healthier. What are your favorite foods to treat ulcerative colitis? Let us know in the comments below.